finished in 1979, so it's got that disco sort of sound. David Bowie is um, in the personnel doing hand claps. Denim and Leather, it was Saxon's fourth album, it came out in 1981, certified gold in England. It was the last album with their classic lineup with the drummer. This album was kind of the beginning of your wave of British heavy metal. The Black Sabbath kind of started it all, and then Judas Priest pushed it a bit. Then you had bands like this, Iron Maiden, Lord Head, kind of having achieved commercial success with Prime of the Century, the previous album. Um, the pressure was on for Supertramp to deliver a follow-up album. Hodgson later on said that he was unhappy with this album, describing it as a rust job. So yeah, you know, he didn't like it, but recently he's actually said that it's one of his favorite albums. So he in 1978 in Los Angeles. Um, it had four US Billboard hits. Logical song, Goodbye Stranger, Take the Long Way Home, and Breakfast in America. Those like songs were just so massive. Um, also the Logical song. Um, was popular in America and Australia. The album's front cover resembles the overlook of Manhattan through an aeroplane window. The image depicts Kate Murtagh. So this is talking about this lady, the waitress. Yeah, you know, just recently she passed away. And she's holding that glass of orange juice up, basically mimicking the Statue of Liberty. Redefining sort of heavy metal, hard rock, punk rock, new wave. Really well done kind of music. Whiplash Smile is the third studio album by Billy Idol. Um, it was released 20th of October 86. Um, after his successful album Rebel Yell in 83, he kept going with Steve Stevens. Received mixed reviews at the time. Commercially, it wasn't as big as the previous album Rebel Yell. It still did pretty well. Three singles were released to be a lover. Uh, Don't Need a Gun and Sweet Sixteen. You know, Keith Richards wanted to get into the whole blues rock, like back to basics kind of. And then um, Mick Jagger wanted to go into, you know, modern musical territory. As a result, the album is eclectic, if uneven collection of songs covering a wide range of styles. It would be the first Rolling Stones album in a decade to miss reaching number one. But it did have that famous song on there, Undercover of the Night. So you know, that got pretty big. Thanks for watching.